Whirlpool Reversing Logistics. Picture this, it's 2010 and Warrington Ellicott, Senior Manager of Government Relations at Whirlpool Corporation, drops a bombshell during a management meeting in Ontario. A storm is brewing in the legislative realm and it's about to reshape how appliance manufacturers approach their end of life EOL responsibilities. Ontario's proposed extended producer responsibility, EPR legislation is on the table, and Whirlpool, the Canadian household appliance giant, is at the forefront of this transformative wave. Whirlpool's legacy and market dominance. Whirlpool Corporation, with nearly a century of legacy, stands as the world's largest manufacturer and marketer of major appliances. A juggernaut in the industry, it spans operations across 12 countries, employing a workforce of 67,000 people. In Canada, the company's diverse brands, including English, Admiral, Whirlpool, Maytag, and more have become household names. Traditionally, the game plan for appliance manufacturers was simple. Efficiency in development, production, and seamless delivery to retailers. Products flowed in one direction, destined for millions of homes through a network of outlets. Then, the tides of change arrived in the form of extended producer responsibility legislation. Whirlpool's dilemma and options. Warrington Ellicott lays it bare. The EPR legislation demands a shift in the traditional model. Reverse logistics enters the stage, introducing complexities in handling end-of-life products. Whirlpool, like its industry peers, faced a critical decision. Three options loomed on the horizon. One, opposition argue against the legislation, claiming it's unnecessary. Part two, collective approach, join an industry-funded organization, IFO, to meet EPR requirements. Three, independent initiative, establish its own IFO, charting an autonomous course. Ellicott emphasizes the urgency. This shift carries substantial costs and Whirlpool needs to define its stance swiftly. Ontario Legislation Enter the Waste Diversion Act of 2002, a pivotal moment for Ontario's waste management landscape. Whirlpool Corporation, at the helm of household appliances in Canada, now faces the responsibility of managing end-of-life recycling and waste collection. The EPR legislation demands a rethink of the business model, introducing the complexities of reverse logistics. Manufacturer Woes before delving into the three available options, this video recognizes three critical challenges that plague all appliance manufacturers. 1. Compliance Headache How to track down the old appliances throughout their life cycle to meet diversion targets, subject to penalties if not achieved. Part 2. Unregulated competition, the need to compete with unregulated recyclers, is driven by economic interests challenging the established business model. 3. Environmental responsibility, balancing continuous improvement in waste material management, particularly concerning ozone-depleting substances. As we embark on this journey through Whirlpool's reverse logistics odyssey, we'll explore each option, weigh the pros and cons, and witness how this household giant navigates the turbulent waters of legislative change. Stay tuned as we unravel the intricacies of Whirlpool's response to the winds of transformation in the world of appliances. Whirlpool's dilemma and potential solutions. As we navigate the intricate landscape of Whirlpool's response to Ontario's extended producer responsibility, EPR, legislation, the plot thickens. Even if the broader issues facing the appliance industry find resolution, Whirlpool Corporation stands at a crossroads, armed with three potential solutions. Let's dive into the options that could shape Whirlpool's destiny. Option 1. Joining an industry-funded organization, IFO. The allure of unity beckons as an industry-funded organization, IFO, emerges as a viable path. These independent organizations, sanctioned by Waste Diversion Ontario WDO, are entrusted with managing and funding waste management systems. The key advantage, confidential business information is safeguarded, and stewards, including Whirlpool, can focus on their core responsibilities, while the IFO handles the intricacies of waste collection and recycling. 
However, this route is not without its challenges. Whirlpool's significant investments in research and development for environmentally friendly, green, and easily deconstructible designs could become a double-edged sword. Under the IFO model, costs are averaged across stewards, potentially diluting the competitive edge of companies investing in greener products. This raises concerns about stifling innovation and discouraging eco-friendly initiatives. Moreover, the upfront financial commitment of an additional 20% to the Blue Box program under IFO could be a significant hurdle, demanding careful consideration of the financial implications for Whirlpool and its competitors. Option 2. The Closed Loop System a road less traveled, the closed loop system places the onus on Whirlpool Corporation to establish its own organization, funded internally. This system would involve collecting and managing the disposal of its appliances, creating an economically beneficial loop for the company. While this option grants Whirlpool complete control over its products and costs, the journey comes with its own set of challenges. Implementing a closed loop system requires substantial additional costs even if certain tasks are outsourced to third parties. Logistics networks optimized for product distribution face strain when tasked with collecting old appliances, and retailers may resist this new responsibility. The closed-loop system, despite its potential benefits, poses a logistical puzzle that Whirlpool must solve. The very infrastructure designed for sales and distribution faces upheaval, demanding strategic adjustments. Option 3. The Uphill Battle – Fighting EPR Legislation The third option, a path less chosen, involves challenging the very legislation causing this upheaval. Whirlpool Corporation could opt to fight against the extended producer responsibility legislation armed with data showcasing industry improvements in waste management. The company argues that the legislation might be unnecessary given the substantial recovery of discarded household appliances, estimated at 95 to 99 percent. This path, however, is not without its hurdles. The varied serial number technologies among manufacturers make tracking old appliances a formidable challenge. Additionally, the company's argument hinges on convincing regulators that the existing industry efforts are sufficient, potentially a tough sell. As we peer into the future of Whirlpool's strategic decision-making, the choices loom large. Join us in the next installment as we dissect each option, evaluating the pros and cons that could shape Whirlpool's destiny in the realm of reverse logistics and waste management. The journey is far from over, and the decisions made in the coming chapters will undoubtedly echo across the industry landscape. Sealing the loop, Whirlpool's path forward, in the grand finale of Whirlpool's saga in the realm of waste management and reverse logistics, the time has come for a decisive recommendation. After careful consideration of the options at hand, the spotlight shines on the closed loop system as the beacon guiding Whirlpool Corporation through the complexities of extended producer responsibility EPR, legislation. Why the closed loop system? The closed loop system offers Whirlpool a unique advantage, complete control. This approach empowers the company to seamlessly integrate waste management into its existing operations. Even if certain aspects are outsourced to a third party, the closed loop system ensures that the rules and procedures align with Whirlpool's internal standards. The expansion of the logistics system, coupled with the introduction of new serial numbers and tracking mechanisms, promises a comprehensive and efficient solution. Operational costs, once the closed-loop system is in place, are projected to be minimal. This not only streamlines the waste management process, but also sets the stage for a rewarding system. Retailers and customers can be incentivized to participate in recycling efforts, fostering a culture of sustainability. Join us in the next chapter, where we unravel the intricacies of implementing the closed-loop system, exploring the challenges and triumphs that await Whirlpool on this transformative journey. The tale is far from over, and the pages of sustainability beckon Whirlpool into uncharted territories. Unraveling the intricacies, the closed-loop system represents a paradigm shift for Whirlpool Corporation, 
signaling not just a change in waste management practices, but a fundamental reimagining of its approach to product life cycles. This holistic system demands meticulous planning, seamless execution, and a commitment to sustainability that goes beyond compliance. One, logistical labyrinth. Implementing the closed loop system entails a thorough revamping of Whirlpool's logistical framework. From the collection of old appliances to their safe return to the company for recycling, each step must be seamlessly integrated into the existing supply chain. This logistical labyrinth poses a significant challenge, requiring innovative solutions to ensure efficiency without disrupting regular operations. Part 2. Serial Numbers and Tracking Introducing new serial numbers and tracking mechanisms is a critical aspect of the closed loop system. This step is essential for monitoring the journey of each appliance from the hands of consumers to its reincarnation through recycling. Precision in tracking is non-negotiable, necessitating technological advancements and robust systems to manage the influx of data seamlessly. 3. Operational Optimization while the closed-loop system promises minimal operational costs once established, the journey to optimization is not without its hurdles. Whirlpool must navigate the complexities of coordinating with third-party entities involved in different aspects of waste management. Striking a balance between operational efficiency and cost-effectiveness requires strategic decision-making. Challenges turn triumphs, yet within these challenges lie opportunities for triumph. Whirlpool's commitment to sustainability, innovation, and responsible corporate citizenship acts as a guiding beacon. As we explore the intricacies of this closed-loop implementation, we anticipate the following triumphs. 1. Consumer engagement. The closed-loop system opens avenues for direct engagement with consumers. Educating and incentivizing customers to participate in recycling programs can foster a sense of shared responsibility. Whirlpool has the opportunity to position itself as a sustainability champion, resonating with environmentally conscious consumers. Part 2. Industry Leadership by embracing the closed-loop system, Whirlpool can position itself as an industry leader in sustainable practices. This not only aligns with the evolving expectations of consumers, but also sets a precedent for other players in the market. The ripple effect of such leadership can contribute to the industry's collective efforts toward a greener future. 3. Innovation Showcase Implementing the closed-loop system provides a platform for showcasing Whirlpool's commitment to innovation. From advanced tracking technologies to streamlined logistics, the company can showcase its prowess in marrying technological innovation with environmental responsibility. Thanks for watching.